This is a presentation of launch opportunities for and from Australia by the two Norwegian companies, Ondoya Space Center and NAMO. Launch opportunities for and from Australia. Norway is developing a low-cost launcher and launch service. The North Star launch vehicle will be based on non-hazardous and environmentally friendly hybrid propulsion. And Doya Space Center will provide launch services to the NSLV, but also to other small launchers, expendable and reusable, through the proposed service, Polar Satellite Launch Service. PSLS is currently in a pre-project phase, set to finish by September 2015. The final go or no-go for the full PSLS program will be given by the end of 2015, based on the pre-project findings. Launches will be completely controlled from launch to orbit using already existing Norwegian assets. Export of North Star launch vehicles to Australia will be possible. Headquartered in Drafos, Norway, the NAMO Group is a technology-driven aerospace and defense group specializing in high-performance defense and space solutions. The company was founded in 1998 based on a merger of three major Nordic defense companies, Celsius AB, Patria Orge, and Drafos ASA. The NAMO Group shareholders are the Norwegian government, represented by the Norwegian Ministry of Trade, Industry and Fisheries, and the Finnish Defense and Aerospace Group, Patrioje. Three areas of interest triggered the decision of NAMO Drafos to invest into hybrid rocket motor technology, affordable and safe rocket motors for sounding rockets, environmentally green propulsion technology, thrust regulation. Affordable. Hybrid rockets are inherently safe and most of the oxidizers are readily available in industrial quantities. Only green oxidizers were considered for implementation, liquid oxygen, hydrogen peroxide, nitrous oxide. Since 2010, the number of activities has increased rapidly, primarily because of a strong interest of the space community for green propulsion technology. Ondeya Space Center is located in Norway and is the world's northernmost permanent launch facility for sounding rockets. ASC has conducted more than 1,000 sounding rocket launches since 1962. ASC is also specialized in development and integration of payloads. The technology department develops optical sensors for detection of particles, gases, as well as imaging systems. In the recent years, ASC has been host to several technologies testing missions as Shefex, HiFire, and HTR. ASC has developed a remotely piloted aircraft capable of beyond line of sight flight, carrying a variety of payloads. Part of ASC is also the Alomar Observatory for Atmosphere Science, which operates both active and passive instruments in coordination with research institutes from all around the world. ASC employs over 70 people among scientists, engineers, and technicians. The ASC facilities include a payload assembly hall, a control tower, wideband mobile and stationary telemetry and ranging station, a science control room, workshops, and other buildings for rocket storage, assembly, and various operations and maintenance functions. The visitor center offers meeting rooms, an auditorium, and exhibition space. ASC also offers a customer service center, including 32 hotel rooms, kitchens, laundry, gym, and relaxed facilities. Our clients include ESA, CNES, DLR, NASA, JAXA, and international universities and institutes. As a limited company, ASC is owned 90% by the Ministry of Trade, Industry, and Fisheries, and 10% by Konigsberg Defense System. ASC is an ISO 9001-2008 certified company. Ondeya, Ondeya has its own airport close to the town center of Andenes, located at 69 degrees north, 16 degrees east. Daily flights to and from Oslo via Buda or Trumsa are available. The airport also serves direct flights to and from Oslo using the airline company Norwegian during summer and autumn. A coastal steamer, bus transport, a bridge to the mainland all provides additional methods to get to and from our island. 
Due to the Gulf Stream, Ondea has a mild coastal climate with winter temperatures 0 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. The last five years, about NOK 250 million has been invested at Ondoya Space Center. New infrastructure like a payload assembly building, over 30 new offices, an auditorium for 100 persons, a new industry kitchen with connected cantina, classrooms, new telemetry equipment like Cortex 25 to 30 megabytes per second receivers, five 10-foot mobile tracking antennas, a tracking radar, and so on. Our latest investment is a new 23-foot tracking antenna arriving autumn 2015. A learning and experience center, the Spaceship Aurora, was opened by the Norwegian Prime Minister in 2014. Ondoya Space Center was established at Ondoya, Northern Norway in 1962. The location was chosen due to the fact that the Aurora Oval sits above Ondoya during nighttime. Centered at the magnetic north pole, the Earth's rotation will move the oval overhead Svalbard during daytime. To enable launch of sounding rockets into the CUSP and daytime aurora, ASC has established a launch site, Svalrak, at Neolison and Svalbard. Getting data from a sounding rocket while it's flying is, besides launching it, the most important task for ASC during our operations. Andoya Space Center has completely renewed its telemetry capacity. New wideband cortex receivers, new antenna controllers and motors, and more. A new 23-foot antenna is in the process of being purchased. It should be installed by late autumn 2015. Ondoya Test Center, a subsidiary of ASC, is providing test and training of military technology, missile and rockets, aircraft systems, UAV test and training. By including the ATC telemetry in the ATC sounding rocket operations and vice versa, both companies enjoy simultaneously multiple state-of-the-art telemetry systems. To make our operations even more flexible, ASC, in cooperation with the Civil Aviation Authority Norway in 2014, established permanent danger areas for sounding rockets, missiles, and RPA, covering more than 22,000 square kilometers around Endoya. The permanent zones are unlimited in height and available one week after notification. In addition to these permanent areas, ASC also provides temporary danger areas as remote as north of Svalbard by application. The turnaround time for application and notification is approximately four months. The first launch of a North Star hybrid-powered sounding rocket is planned from Andoya Space Center in September 2015. A single-stage rocket carrying approximately a 100-kilogram payload built and integrated by ASC. The ongoing Polar Satellite Launch Service pre-project will be amongst other important issues, also need to consider if a new launch site is needed. Initially, ASC would like to use the biggest launcher at the existing site, U-3, capable of launching rockets weighing up to approximately 20,000 kilograms. Due to safety or other constraints resulting from the pre-project investigations, it might be necessary to establish a remote launch site equipped with a platform launch instead of a rail launcher like U-3. The full hybrid version of the North Star launch vehicle might take years to develop, but a solid first stage, second and third stage hybrid combo or other launch vehicles should launch out of Hyundai Space Center around 2018 if the final go is given by the ASC Board of Directors at the end of 2015. Launches from Andoya Space Center will be completely controlled from launch to orbit using already existing Norwegian assets. Wrapping up. A Norwegian launch vehicle, fully or partially equipped with North Star motors, launched from ASC into Polar LEO and controlled by KSAT, will be a powerful and cost-effective Norwegian package, contributing to less high-flying satellites that are out of service or just flying too high compared to their desired altitude. For more info, please contact Mr. Kolberg Blikstalen at Hondaya Space Center or Mr. Ono Verbernd at NAMO.